I'm going to walk you through a cool bit of code for basically allowing somebody to enter in um, a command which doesn't have to be exactly as you've stored it in your inventory or list. Now, basically, normally, if you store some text like the word sword, the user, the player of the game, would have to type it in exactly as it is here, so all lowercase, for the command to be recognized and for the program to then tell them that they have that sword in their list or in, if you've called it inventory, in the inventory. Now this is a nice bit of code for fixing that problem and you can do it with a list so it's a really nice bit of code. I'll show you what it does first and then I'll take you through step by step how to work this into your code yourselves. Right, so if you notice in my list this is stored as lowercase and so is this. Okay, let's run the program and it says choose a weapon. So I've only got two options here, sword or an axe, so I'm going to put in axe and I'm going to put it in all in capitals and normally with the code you've written so far this would not work. Bing, it works. So it's given me you have chosen axe and if you've noticed it's capitalized the first letter of the word axe which is just me making the code neater which you would do if you were writing this professionally. So this is all about you making robust strong code that doesn't break easily and also is polished and finished so it looks more professional. Right, let's walk you through how this works. Now first off I've made an inventory. I've called it list in, in my case but if you've called it inventory you'd need the word inventory there not list and equals square bracket speech mark sword close speech mark comma outside of the speech marks remember that's really important and then another speech marks axe closing speech marks closing square bracket now you've seen that before so I'm not going to dwell on that now here's the clever bit this line of code here now element dot upper we looked at in a previous lesson but it was a few le lessons ago so I'm going to go through this carefully basically what you're doing here is you're taking your list or inventory if you've called it inventory and you're using the equal sign and open up a square bracket now this word element this is just a holding variable as the loop which is here it's a for loop goes through each part of your list so basically what will happen this for loop will run through everything in your list even if it's a million long it will go for every single element in the list but it will do it one at a time so each time it goes through the loop and the loop will last until it reaches the end of the list it will temporarily store the first element then the second element and the third element in this variable I've called it element you can call it what you want it doesn't have to be element it could be item um, it can be whatever you fancy but it's an element in the list so it, for me it seemed logical so you write element full stop upper open and close brackets now this little line of code here what it's doing it's turning whatever is in your inventory or list into all uppercase letters yeah that's all it's doing so it's going through the list no matter how long or short it is and changing each bit of text into all uppercase okay now the next line you've got a space there you need the keyword for, then element. This has to be the same word you've got here. So if you've put item, this would need to be item as well. In our case, element. You need the keyword in with a space here and here. And then the word list, or if you've called it inventory, it would have to be the word inventory in there. And a closing square bracket. Now that's basically done the work now of making everything in our list or inventory uppercase. Okay? So next I'm asking the user to choose a weapon by just using a basic print command. As always I've stored their choice in a variable which in this case I've called weapon. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to change whatever the user's entered in to uppercase as well. So I've used the word weapon equals weapon.upper. So this changes whatever the user has stored in this variable to all uppercase letters again. So now, whatever's inside weapon, it's all uppercase, whatever they entered in and however they entered it. Now the next line is just a simple if statement. So if weapon space in space list, 
that would need to be inventory if in your case you've called it inventory colon so this line what it's doing is it's saying well, if whatever the user's entered in to the weapon variable is in the list and then a colon again it's indented then we're saying if it's there make make the whatever is inside the weapon into weapon dot title open and close brackets now this little line of code this will basically take the first letter in the word that's entered in and turn it into a capital so we basically change it from being all uppercase to only the first letter being uppercase so it looks nicer when we print it out so originally we've turned it all into uppercase with this line of code here and this one line of code it checks if that's in the list and if it is it then just capitalizes the first letter and puts everything else back to lowercase and then we print out that you've chosen a and don't forget that you close the speech marks after the text you put a comma and then the word weapon or if you've called it something else whatever you've called it in there but it has to match up with this word this word and this word and this word so they all have to be the same if you've named it something different and then finally I've got an else which again is indented on the same level as the if it's not here it has to be there right on the edge of the screen and then print you do not have that weapon okay that's how it works have a go if you can work this into a function um, to part of your adventure and get it working because it really does make your code look beautiful and neat. So have a go at this and have some fun with it. See you next time. Bye for now.